man top billing looking at Geno Smith coming in in relief for my man Chef Russell running that pure spread man it made me harken back to the days when he was putting up gems like this man 656 yards and eight touchdowns running that spread up in West Virginia being a Virginia Tech fan I always pay attention to West Virginia and Geno Smith I saw him play a million games I always loved Geno Smith until he got drafted by my man Rex Ryan and then he became the Geno Smith that we know now. So a lot of this is going to be tongue-in-cheek because it's Geno Smith. You guys coming in here talking about you'd rather see Geno Smith over Chef Russell to me. It's complete lunacy. Shouldn't do meth and type on top billing. He is not in Chef Russell's class. However, him running out of that pure spread, man, I don't know. Maybe they can catch lightning in the bottle because he is one of these guys who can make quick decisions and extend plays. And, of course, he's playing on one of the most talented teams as far as the targets that he has to throw to. So you never know. You never know. But, man, let's go back and look at some of the stuff that he was doing in that game in relief of Chef Russell. Chef Russell, get well, my man. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Now, remember, this has a bit of satire to it just because – I have a little history with Gino. really loved Gino in college, and I thought he was going to be the truth. My foray into media started, I believe, with Gino's draft way back like eight years ago, and I thought he was going to be the absolute truth, and obviously I was wrong, so I'm not going down that rabbit hole so you guys can come back and be like, this aged well, Cletus. No, I'm not saying Geno Smith is going to light or torch anything. I just like this particular game that he came in and what they did from a structural standpoint because this looked like what he did at West Virginia. It's really simple, easy reads here. You got plus splits, wide-ass plus splits right here, right? You got Collins out here, uh, DK out here. And then you have uh, pretty much a divider split going on. All he has to do is pretty much read hot. Right. You know, he's going to be playing zone right here. He can see this coming from a mile away and then they can convert this. I want to say this is lock it. Uh, don't quote me on that. But you get a, a, a quick route to the flat. He becomes the replace hot. If you get somebody coming off the edge here, you see two guys overloading coming off the edge there. All he has to do is quickly make that read. And Gino's generally pretty accurate in the quick, quick game. See right there. Two guys coming. No, sir. Bang. Hit lock it like it ain't nothing. <laughs> real sim simple and easy not saying Russell Wilson can't do this because I believe he can literally do anything on the field but he does want to push the ball down the field I think there's something with Russell Wilson that he just hmm, and he wants the glory with all the yardage and think about it Russell Wilson his whole career has come from a pro style offense watched him at Wisconsin super pro style offense under coach Chris there and, of course, being in Seattle, what they what they run. Geno Smith, just a little bit different, right? Of course, entering the NFL, he had to do that. But he put up numbers in college, serious numbers, where Russell Wilson didn't do that type of stuff. So this is right up Geno's alley right here. One more time, just real simple and quick right there. If if this guy had a dropped out, he probably would just dump this right here, going to uh, my man Moore. Swain, please. Not really many options from there. And other than that, if it's not there, he would just throw it away. It's like, don't think, you know, <laughs> we put it the way you don't have to think. Uh, right here, I love this, right? More spread, right? Working out of a spread, but this time with a back in the backfield. To me, they can go 60% of the time with no backs in the backfield. I know that's not the Seattle way, but that's the Geno way, right? You just want to win. You want to keep this afloat until Russell Wilson can return and give you your best shot at making the playoffs, right? But these type of players right here, easy. Boom, look at that screen pass right there. Even on a screen pass, Russell Wilson would have threw it to the decoy. <laughs> Chef Russell would have threw it to the decoy. He's not even going to be looking. I think I've seen him do that before, too. Didn't we? Didn't I diagram that one time on a screen pass? He held the ball on a screen pass and tried to throw it deep when these guys are generally just decoys. He's not even going to look. He just wants to run them down there and then start blocking. You can see right there he slows up, doesn't look at the play. He just wants to start blocking. And one time, I, I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I can remember doing something last year where that man held the ball on his screen and tried to throw it deep and took a sack. So sometimes he puts the pressure, puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line because he does want to be aggressive and push the ball down the field. And he's the best in the NFL at doing it. Can you blame him? But sometimes it's not conducive to having a good offensive line or even being successful like 
efficiently successful. I right, check this one out. This one is 12 personnel. Uh, you got Parkinson and Disley in the game, right? Parkinson here, Disley here, and you can dictate to the defense by having them have more base personnel in doing that, but still running your normal spread. On this one, you're going to always have a lot of short routes, right? A lot of routes that just has to do with three-step drops or cock and fire drops to where he can get the ball out of his hands very fast. Uh, you got a couple of them there, and and then you'll have Lockett here. He's just meant to run to the void of the defense somewhere and then just find a spot to go. It's almost like backyard football. So you'll get the the short route here from Disley, and he finds a void, but then he sees that Geno has still got the play alive. So then your next mo is to just run to the void of a def to the void of the defense, and he does that, and Geno finds him. This is I'm telling you, this is right up Geno's alley. They couldn't have made it any more simpler for this dude right there. Nothing's open, short. Now look, bang! You see that? Let's go back to Disley here. See Disley just check him out. See him come out the ball for his short route. There's nothing there. He could have probably come off of his three-step drop if he wasn't Gino and just staring staring um one side of the field down. It's not even necessarily staring down one man. He's staring down one side of the field because you can pretty much see what everybody's going to be doing when you take your pull on this because it's all in the general vicinity. Now, he could have hit DK Metcalf because you can see Jalen Ramsey here pretty far off of DK Metcalf there. Could have got him the ball real quick and see if he could break a tackle. That could have been one place that he could go. Or he could just keep the play alive and Disley reverse course, hit him on the run. Great gainer, too, by Disley. Someone in the comment section asked me why it looked so different when Geno got in the game. Well, first of all, they never rushed more than four when Geno was in the game. Um, I'll have to go back and check that. For the most part, they were just rushing forward. They were doing some games and stunts here, a couple of TE twists and everything like that, but nothing too extravagant. They were trying to flood the field just running coverage, just coverage across the board, and Geno was just making very quick decisions. You see right here on this fade to Metcalf, he threw Metcalf open, right? Dennis Rodman, Metcalf himself, threw that man open just because he was – truth and convicted on where he wanted the ball to go and Metcalf was kind of slow playing it. I don't know if Metcalf didn't think he was going to get the ball but you can see him right here when he fires out the ball he starts to slow up. Well he's like well he's not going to throw it to me because he was thinking like he probably already made his decision and he did. But he made his decision to go to a certain part of the end zone and look at that. Freaking faked out the cornerback right? Gave that man vertigo. Ball selling over his head like that giving him vertigo. But you can see him slowing up Slowing up, but Gino throws it to where probably only Metcalf can get it, put it high up and everything like that. It just so happened Metcalf got the leverage on him by slowing up, and then he gets to fade it out. Man, it was super exciting. You got to at least admit that. He came in and made it exciting. Oh, yeah, another thing. Instead of all the motion, having this spread be like this with these super plus splits and everyone static, it does something to the defense as well. Maybe you can't get a tell on them. However, like I said before, you begin to dictate here. Now you get Metcalf matched up in a slot here. He's going to run an option route, right? Whatever the leverage gives him. And it looks like he's matched up on a linebacker. So that alone right there is worth his weight and goal. Uh, he does a good job getting open on there and getting hit with a slant route from Geno Peasy. Look at that. Too easy. Nasty. And then let him create after the catch. Sick. One more gain on that one right there. See right here, just real quick decisions. Right there, you got to make your decision because you can see right here, not too many places to go off the three-step drop. And generally, you'll have some dummy routes that'll just be clear routes. So on the outside right here, because this was meant to be a three-step drop, you're probably not going to push the ball down the field like we see here to Disley or to Collins. So the action will be in the middle, and he hits that. And any way you can get the ball into this freak's hands, man, you just got to do it. If you want to get the ball out of your hands fast, it's going to be Metcalf here in the slot running kind of a quick curl. I believe you have Parkinson running it off. And then you have Lockett here. He's on a deep over route, so that's not going to work. Maybe the swing pass here to Alex Collins, but that's why he had to reset. So when this quick stuff is not open, you reset, and then you start playing backyard football. Metcalf's quick curl is taken away underneath. Everybody else is still running because they're longer routes. 
He could hit this swing pass. That probably been would have been his best bet. But <laughs> we're talking about Geno Smith here. So let's keep it in perspective there. But he flushes. He has an evacuation plan. And him and Disley on the money with these with these escape clauses. Escape clause on deck. Hits Disley. Perfect. Perfect. So, man, there you have it. Nothing too elaborate on that, right? It's pretty much an elementary type scheme. But sometimes that's all it takes. You, you just got to do what you got to do to win the football game. And that type of football fits Geno Smith. It may not fit Russell Wilson. He can be in a little bit more of an elaborate type scheme that pushes the ball downfield. But I don't know, man. Maybe this could be something. It happens. To, I, I forget how many weeks Russell Wilson is out. So him just trying to keep the ship, or keep the keep it afloat. <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. So don't be coming up in here, man, because most of you people, y'all just want to see somebody be wrong so you can just do this little, hey, cle- oh, <laughs> wrong i've been doing too much football in the south and stuff i gotta give you y'all's correct voice uh excuse me murph you know that this did not age well right come on we don't want to do all that right just just putting it out there you never know you just never know i but with that being said man thank you to everybody sending quality support out there man much love to the seahawk nation for supporting your boy if you haven't already make sure you send your quality support in keep the lights on Make sure I continue to be able to do Seattle content and the other content that I do. All right. That being said, it's your boy Murph, the Underground King, top billing sports, and I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.